and we convey our gratitude for accepting our invitation and being with us here to support and promote Madhya Pradesh is bestowed with so diversified tourism products, its heritage, pilgrim, larger and nature as well. It gives us immense pleasure to share with you that Madhya Pradesh is recognized as one of the leading states, not only in the sector of agriculture and power, but in tourism sector as well. Acclaimed six national tourism awards last year, and it could happen only due to the support of unwavered support by the media and patronage of the tourists. So that any uh, endeavor being started, operated, monitored by private uh, sector will go a long way. So, uh, for that purpose, we are here in Hyderabad, as in all major cities of India, where we are taking our private uh, stakeholders of Madhya Pradesh and uh, let them be interactive with the uh, local uh, stakeholders of the uh, visiting destination. So, in that process only, we have come here as well with our private hoteliers, even travel agents, so they, they can interact with the local travel agents of uh, Hyderabad and they can create contracting and itinerary finalization so that we can increase the footfalls of the tourists in Madhya Pradesh. For the various uh, tourism boards, uh, they all are having you know, mutual uh, promotional activities, definitely. They visit uh, our Madhya Pradesh uh, road shows, uh, travel marts, uh, and we also uh, participate in their uh, uh, road shows and marts in uh, Telangana and in AP both. Kerala and the Rajasthan are uh, very uh, well uh, ahead states in tourism sector for last 35, 30 to 40 years. Now, MP is uh, in the, now, uh, here what I would like to explain. Madhya Pradesh is bestowed with uh, diversified tourism products. As government institution, we are here to add value additions by innovations and attractions to all these tourist destinations. Then the third steps comes the promotion and publicity where definitely we need the support of the media of uh, the whole country to promote these destinations so that our efforts of uh, marketing, increasing the destinations is takes a reality. Last two years, there is a issue of uh, carrying capacity in the wildlife national parks by the Supreme Court. So, due to that effect, we are uh, in uh, and wildlife tourism of uh, Madhya Pradesh is the USP. And there is a uh, restriction of the entrance, entry tickets, entry persons to the national parks. There is a by default uh, uh, restriction to the entry of the tourists as well. Uh, you have to understand, there is one destination, Orcha, which is very close to the Khajrao. Now the tourists are divided between Orsha and Khajrao. Number of tourists is the same. It's not that uh, number of tourists has reduced, but it has been divided. Earlier there has to be two nights. Uh, you, you have to understand these are tourist footfall numbers, not number of tourists in India. So while calculating this, when the one night is shifted to Orsha from Khajrao, so the Khajrao number of tourists is uh, by default reduced. Not that number of tourists has reduced. In the current scenario, we will definitely say heritage and uh, pilgrim. No, uh, in the what I can uh, say here that 11 percent of the GDP of the Madhya Pradesh is from tourism sector. Marketing efforts for which we are on and having all these roadshows across all major cities of India. Uh, Hyderabad is uh, here today with us, uh, with you. Last five years only. You will agree to me that the exposure of Madhya Pradesh tourism in the canvas of the state uh, on the country, not only country, but in the world has gone to a very high level. And it's only due to the, our uh, marketing and promotion, promotional efforts which we are doing. And we constantly strive to give it a more and more exposure to the tourists or the, to the people of various states and uh, even uh, in foreign countries. We participate in all international events as well, whether it's ITB or WTM or ITB Asia, whether it's a GITB in uh, Jaipur or uh, uh, Sate in uh, Delhi, 
in all major events, road shows, Madhya Pradesh tourism is always there. And for this year onwards, we have had a uh, more plan to come in a bigger way, to come in a bigger uh, stand, come with a bigger place. And we will also now carry our private stakeholders of Madhya Pradesh along with us to all these destinations, whether it is national or international. Because again, we believe that the participation of the private sector is must mandatory for the development of that, uh, any sector of any state or any country. In uh, Hyderabad, in this building uh, itself, we are having our uh, marketing office of Madhya Pradesh Tourism. And in uh, association with the, that office, we are having very uh, commercially viable relations with all travel agents of uh, Hyderabad. We, we have got a policy of uh, giving discounts, TAC, depending on the volume of their business, which increases, which may increase around, uh, with the increase of volume of business and in uh, again i'll mention that this is a process and in this process we are having today evening uh, again a interactive b2b networking sessions with the local travel agents of hyderabad and the travel agents and hoteliers of the mp and uh, one one more issue i'd like to bring to uh, it will be my pleasure to share with you that uh, madhya pradesh is the only state in the country which in the past has done a training sessions for the local travel agents of that particular city. This year also, we have started uh, this training session with Thomas Cook Academy, who will we will be having uh, these training sessions in all major cities of the country, where uh, that uh, we will be then they as a preferred travel agent for Madhya Pradesh. So that we will be showcasing them, we will be having classes them, we will be having training with all these travel agents of the all uh, cities so that they can be well versed with the uh, scenario of tourism in, uh, of MP and they can do better business and marketing.